we're told here is a graph of a segment of f of x is equal to x. That's this graph right over here. And they say that g of x is equal to f of x minus 4. Graph g. And we can graph g with this little widget here. Now, I would normally ask you to pause this video and try to do it on your own, but you don't have access to this widget. So you can think about what I should do, and then I will do it. All right. So let's see how I think about it. This is the segment of f of x is equal to x. Now g of x is defined by whatever f of x is. We now subtract 4 from that. So for example, f of 3, if you put 3 into f, you get f of 3 is actually equal to 3. And that makes sense. f of x is equal to x. f of 3 is equal to 3. But now g of 3 is going to be equal to f of 3 minus 4. So g of 3 is going to be equal to f of 3, but then we're going to subtract 4 from it. So it's going to be down by 4, or we're going to subtract 4 to get to negative 1. And let's go to the other endpoint here. And actually, let me scroll down a little bit so that we can see it. So if we go to this other endpoint, f of negative 3 is, of course, equal to negative 3. But now g of negative 3 is going to be equal to that minus 4. So we're going to shift down again. So we're going to go to minus 7, just like that. So we have now graphed g. And as you can see, if you take f of x and you subtract 4 from it, you have just shifted the whole graph down by 4. Let's do another example. So this one here, here's a graph of a segment of f of x equals x. And now they're saying h of x is equal to f of x plus 6 graph h. So we have to be careful here. You might say, oh, maybe this just shifts up by 6. But that's not exactly what's happening here. If this was f of x and then that whole thing plus 6, then yes, we would shift up by 6. But something different is happening here. So let's think what might happen at negative 8. And I'll show you in a second why I care about negative 8. f of x is not defined at negative 8, at least the way it is here. We don't see the graph going all the way down to negative 8, at least if, it, if you view it as being defined by this graph. But if you say x equals negative 8, if you said h of negative 8, that's the same thing as f of negative 8 plus 6. So h of negative 8 is the same thing of f of negative 2. We know f of negative 2 is negative 2. So h of negative 8 is going to be negative 2. And then now let's move forward, and I'm picking these points intentionally, to h of negative 4. So if we say h of negative 4, that is the same thing as f of negative 4 plus 6, or it's the same thing as f of 2. f of 2 is 2. So h of negative 4 is the same thing as f of 2. Now, what just happened here? Well, it looks like when we replaced our x with x plus 6, it shifted the graph 6 to the left. 